Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another casual video. I've had this makeup on all day, got home from work, just chilling. But today we're going to talk about my favorite affordable loose face powders. I have four favorites here, and I'm going to talk about them in order from my least favorite to most favorite, but these are all good powders. I just kind of ranked them within my favorites. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of like top four videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Okay, so let's get started with the Milani Loose Powder. This is the Make It Last Setting Powder in 01 Translucent Light to Medium. This is the lightest shade, but they do have four shades of this translucent powder on their website, which is pretty good, and it's $11. For $11, you get 3.5 grams, which is, I think, the least amount of product out of any of these, which is why it's kind of towards the bottom. You're paying a little bit more for a little bit less powder, but this is actually a really good under eye setting powder. I used this in my Full Face of Milani video, and I loved it, and I've been going back to it since. The packaging, I will say, is a bit annoying, and it does get a lot of product out, so the sifter is not the best. But the product is really good and I like the shade range. The next favorite powder that I have on here is from Rimmel. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Loose Powder. Unfortunately, this only comes in one shade and this is 001 Transparent. It's not really truly transparent. It's got like a tiny bit of a pink tinge to it. I do have a warm undertone so I didn't know if this was going to work for me at first but if I just use it under my eyes it just brightens just the perfect amount and doesn't look like reverse raccoon eyes. So in this loose powder you get 10 grams for $4.99 is what I'm seeing on their website right now. I did pick mine up at Target and I think I did pay right around the $4.99 price point for it. So you do get a lot more product than you do in the Milani powder. The only issue is that this is a stay matte powder. The least oily part of my face is right here. So I don't necessarily need a super, super matte powder. If anything, I like this powder better for setting my oily areas, like my T-zone right here on my chin. I always get super oily right here. And it does a decent job of locking that down. The sifter on this one is a lot nicer than the Milani's. You can just shake it out and get out as much as you need. You're not going to get like a poof of powder when you first open up the package. And overall, it's just a really solid loose powder. The downside, like I said, there's only one shade. So the next powder I'm going to be talking about is from Cody. This is the original Airspun powder. You get a heaping hunk of product in here for a decent price point. Right now on the Walmart website, the prices are different depending on what shade that you're going for. There are a lot of shades in this powder, which is nice, but it doesn't go too dark, unfortunately. I have the shade Naturally Neutral, which as far as I can see is like the only light warm toned one. They mostly go towards like the rosy peachy kind of undertones. I bought mine at a Walgreens for right around seven or eight dollars. But on the Walmart website right now, all the shades range from $5.97 to right around $10. And for that much money, you get 65 grams of product. Yeah, I'll say it again. 65 grams of product. It's a lot of product. It's huge. Like, this is my face. Yeah. Now, what everyone says is that this is a great powder, but that the smell is garbage. I don't like the little poof poof, but for the most part the poof poof keeps the powder in because the sifter and the lid are not the best on this. But I personally like the scent. My battery is about to die, god dang it. To me it smells like slightly florally baby powder. Like not in a bad way. I actually personally really enjoy the scent, but I know like a lot of the reviews say that people can't even use this because it's so heavily scented and I will say the scent is heavy so if you're sensitive to fragrance anywhere near your face especially by your eyes you're not going to be able to use this product but if you don't really have too sensitive skin and you're fine with the scent it's like the biggest bargain out of all the powders I'm talking about today because you get so much product like this will literally probably last you six months of continuous use 
at least. So while the Cody is the best bang for your buck, it's not my 100% all-time favorite affordable loose powder. That spot is reserved for my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Not only is this crazy affordable, not only is the shade range on this powder fantastic. I'll throw a picture up here of the shade range. It goes from very, very light to dark. Not only is the packaging incredible because you have like a nice square here. This is a tight twist and then you have a nice sifter here. This is in my backup drawer right now so it's not currently open but the size of this is the perfect size. You can dip it right into the lid and then take it out of the lid. Just the way that this is set up with that little lip right here makes it so much cleaner than any other powder. Even high-end powders. Like this design is genius. I currently have the shade 10 Fair Light and it's just a little bit light for me. I got mine at CVS and Target, I believe. They have them all there. I don't know what the price is there, but right now on the Ulta website, these are going for $7.99 each. And for $7.99, you get 20 grams of product. This powder lasted me months even when I was using it every day, because I got to the point where I was using it every day. I loved it. I loved it for under my eyes. I loved it for my oily areas. It didn't make my under eyes look too dry. It kept me matte where I wanted to be matte. I love this powder. It's seriously the best loose powder you will find for a bargain. Surprisingly enough, I'm not a huge fan of their Pressed Fit Me face powder. I didn't like that one as much. If you're looking for a pressed powder video, I could definitely do one. I've got a lot of favorites for affordable pressed powders, so, but this, the pressed powder for the Fit Me isn't one of them. So I would just stick to this loose powder. Find a shade that works for you. If you get it at Target, they have coupons. If you get it at Ulta, you can use your points. You can get your rewards on it. Really, this is the best. All hail the Maybelline loose powder. So those are my four top favorite affordable loose powders. Let me know down below what you thought and if you've tried any of these products out or if you're interested to try them out now that I've told you. Thank you for watching again and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.